Good evening and thanks for joining us. Tonight we wrap up our Courageous Conversation series on Alzheimer's disease, The Long Goodbye. From simply defining the disease and its effects to identifying steps for dealing with it, you've heard from medical professionals and patients who suffer from Alzheimer's. Color 10's Jesse Inman joins us as he takes a look ahead into the future of research into this disease. Jesse. Yeah, Heather, doctors from Missouri Memory Center with Citizens Memorial Hospital in Bolivar, a leader in Alzheimer's research in our state. They say the outlook for a breakthrough in Alzheimer's research is good, but it's going to involve participation from doctors and patients to get even better. It used to be a condition that was fairly hopeless because they didn't think there was anything they could do. Dr. Curtis Schreiber with Missouri Memory Center at Citizens Memorial Hospital in Bolivar says Alzheimer's research has come a long way and now it is being geared towards certain cases. In the past, there wasn't a lot to help, but now we do have a lot of help. We don't have a cure yet. And if you look at how research is going for Alzheimer's disease, it has definitely shifted. It's shifted towards the earliest possible stages. What's the harm in getting early uh, screening done? One of Dr. Schreiber's colleagues, Dr. Robert Denny, presses on the importance of getting ahead of the disease. I think that when somebody starts to feel like something isn't right, or the family notices that something isn't right, uh, then those would probably be red flags to say, look, we should probably do some screening. Doctors say those early cases will help most in finding a breakthrough, but it will take willingness for people to come forward. The only way that new treatments come through is through research. And the only way we can get research done is to get patients on board and doctors on board and families on board to participate. Dr. Schreiber says these studies take a lot of time and money, so funding from all levels is just as crucial as participation in studies by patients. Is there hope? There's a lot of hope. You know, the funding will help, and I think we will be able to say it someday that we have that breakthrough. In fact, a recent breakthrough has been in technology. In 2014 was the FDA approval of amyloid pet imaging like this. It helps identify a buildup of a protein called amyloid that blocks cognitive functions. It's a key sign of Alzheimer's disease. Really what it shows us is, is there amyloid deposited in the brain? On the left is a person that doesn't have Alzheimer's disease, meaning that that's how a normal brain should look. On the right, is a brain that has Alzheimer's disease. Amyloid PET imaging is available for all patients, but it's not covered by Medicare or insurance. So really, the way our patients gain access to this is by participating in research studies. And while not every study is going to reveal the cure, each step brings us closer to the ultimate goal of finding effective treatments for Alzheimer's disease. Even a negative research study, even if it doesn't work, Researchers learn from every single study and they find new ideas. So we need to all work together in order to find a solution to this problem. And I think we will, but we need to keep working on it. And if you want to learn more about resources for questions or help with Alzheimer's disease, we encourage you to visit our Courageous Conversations page on OzarksFirst.com. You'll find all of the stories we've done regarding this disease. And if you feel that you may be getting some of the signs or symptoms of dementia or Alzheimer's, call Missouri's Alzheimer's 24-7 helpline at 1-800-272-3900. They can steer you in the right direction to get help as soon as possible. Heather?